from the Breslin Center here in East Lansing, from Munn Ice Arena, here at Jenison Fieldhouse. From BTM Plus, I'm Alexis Downey. It's no secret that Michigan State's Tara Hirose is one of the top goal scorers in the nation for college hockey, but what may be a secret is his pregame superstitions. I talked with Tower earlier this week, and he said that before every game, home or away, he will sit in seat number seven in the rink and focus in on the game. Welcome in everyone. I'm Alexis Downey and this is your NBC Sports Update. Michigan State only sitting two points behind in the Big Ten standings behind Penn State. Penn State in fifth, Michigan State in sixth. So as Michigan State senior Zach Osborne said, it's crunch time. How do you think this game will help you guys moving forward into the rest of November? Uh, it's just, you know, we struggled tonight. You know, shots weren't falling. A lot of things didn't go our way, but we didn't quit. Now, earlier this week, former Spartan Mason Appleton was called up to the NHL's Winnipeg Jets. Last season in the AHL, he had 66 points and was named to the all-rookie team. Oakland leads the series history. However, since Michigan State head coach Damon Renson came into the picture, the Spartans are 5-1. and one. Dewan, big win tonight under the lights in front of a home crowd. What does this mean for your team? That's a big win against Oakland and state rival. They lost all four of those road games. We talked to Spartan head coach Susie Merchant this week, and she said that they were getting the looks that they wanted. However, they could just not execute their shots. Your first start this season, what was your mentality coming into this game? Um, I just wanted to contribute any way that I could. Penn State head coach Guy Godowski said earlier this week, it's easy to understand why Chase was a unanimous team captain selection this year, and they are so fortunate to have someone like Chase representing Penn State hockey. Pat, you played with a lot of persistence in your game tonight. How did you come into this game so prepared? Your first game winner of the season, your fifth goal so far. What's been working in your game to get you to this level? Uh, I think just uh, play with my line mates and chemistry. Skalarski looking for Evans up at the top. Evans making a great run. She has a chance, and it's right say? over into the back of the net over Bloomer and Douglas. And getting his third goal of the season. Take another look at it. Had plenty of space in front of him, a wide open lane, and it was no contest for Peyton Jones in the net. Well, Rutgers has been dominating as far as possession goes, as we've mentioned throughout the first half. Their touches are really nice to the ball. Passes are very clean, and their speed has really been showing, especially on the attack. They play so well down the line. Malari pinching in. You see him coming out. There is no one on him for Michigan State, just getting an easy open back at the net. That is his fourth of the season for the junior. What a rocket shot to that top corner. Riley Ott could not get a hand on that and all of a sudden we are tied up at one. A really great pass over. And Happy Valley is one of the toughest places to play in the country. However, MSU was able to beat Penn State last year on a last second field goal. Could the Spartans pull off another upset this year? They go back to Davis, this time through the air. He makes this unbelievable catch on the fade route, puts MSU up 19 to 14. The Spartans were ranked 17th in the nation heading into this one, but they had trouble on the offensive end. Here, Taryn McCutcheon puts in the jumper. She was one of the only three Spartans in double figures. The Spartans beat the Lancers 3 to 1 with goals from Mitch Lewandowski, Patrick Kotarenko, and Cody Milan. That about wraps it up for this edition of NBC Sports Update. I'm Alexis Downey. Thank you for joining us.